Carlo special. What's up, Joe Crew? It's me, Joku. I'm here with another playthrough of Sangon and Hira Dragon. Hira Dragon. Little Gohi and his dragon. This is uh, the deck that won Nats. I'm using Andrew Duvall's list since he was first place. I just want to give you guys an idea of kind of how to play through the deck, some ideal plays, things that you're looking for, stuff like that. I'm not the best at playing this deck, but I kind of know how it runs. So hopefully for, you know, somebody that isn't familiar with the deck, this can be helpful. All right. So as always, I like to do the five stack power shuffle. The Giancarlo special. All right, so once you get that all shuffled up, the thing that you're really looking for in your opening hand is extra cards. You really want extra cards because the extra cards turn your engine on. Once your engine is going, this deck can play very, very defensively. And the kind of the whole idea of the deck is you want to be countering your opponent's plays to slow their turn down so they can't do quite as many things in their turn. So we're gonna start out here and draw six, three, six. Check what we got. Okay, so we have one extra card at least. We know that's good. And this is a good turn one play. If we're playing against blue, this is a good turn one play, but we're just gonna assume we're playing something random. So we're gonna keep one extra card and one slug. And hopefully we'll see another extra card because that slug will be a good turn one play to allow us to draw and it'll set up to play the bigger slug if we end up seeing him in our hand soon enough. The one thing about this deck is it draws a crap load of cards. So tons and tons of cards drawn, a uh, very strong deck, really strong defensive capability. So uh, there's four and we're gonna set our life over here. I always like to set my life like that. So in our opening hand, we were able to, so we got another extra card, pretty good. Okay, and some of these steadfast Gokus. So we're gonna roll to see who goes first. Again, this is just a simulated game. I'm simulating the game plan on the other side. I'll roll for Lil Gohi first. Lil Gohi rolls a nine and our opponent rolls a seven. So we're gonna be going first. First thing we wanna do is choose an extra card and put it in our energy area. And at that point, we would play slug for one. If we're playing against red that minuses stuff, we don't wanna play the target to let them minus it. But in this instance, we can play it and draw and that's beautiful. We see our slug right on turn two. We're gonna pass turn. They'll likely attack our leader once, so we'll take that hit into our hand and our next turn's gonna begin. So we draw for turn, choose a card in our hand and put it in our energy area. Uh, we really want to have two extra cards in our energy area. And the reason why is because it turns on Steadfast Assistance Goku, and it also turns on Repost once we see Repost. So we're going to go ahead and charge a Vegeta's Final Flash in our energy area, since we have more of those in the deck. And the first thing we're going to do is get our slug out. So we'll pay one energy, choose this slug, put it in its drop area, and play this slug from our hand. Once that slug is out, if it's in rest mode and we have bond two, meaning there's another battle card in our battle area, our opponent cannot draw cards off of skills, card skills other than their leader card skill. So once that's out, we're gonna go ahead and just swing with that right away. Our opponent will probably either take that hit or negate it or unlikely to combo out of it, but then we'll go ahead and attack with Gohan, draw a card, and more often than not, you're taking life here into our hand. The next thing we wanna do is likely establish our bond, um, but we don't wanna tap out to do that. So we're just gonna leave Slug here since we have a steadfast Goku in our hand. And if they had something in rest mode, we wanna to wanna to attack one of their battle cards. So they're gonna to have to play a battle card in order to try and kill this, or they'll have to swing in it with uh, cards from their, with their leader card and then combo cards. So it'll be pretty neg for them. So we're gonna pass turn into our opponent's turn. We'll imagine that our opponent attacks uh, here, so we're gonna have to combo to save it. So uh, let's go ahead and just combo 5K off for this to protect that, put it at 25, maybe they swung for 20. Now they may play a battle card. When they play the battle card, you're gonna go ahead and play Steadfast Assistance Goku. 
Steadfast Assistant Goku is a counterplay. It uh, rests the card coming into play and then it allows you to draw cards. So we draw for that play, which is really excellent. It's also a blocker. So if they then attack with something bigger and try and kill Slug, we can block with that. And we now have our bond. This may die. We'll just imagine that this does die from the hit and then they'll pass turn to us. So we draw a card, uh, choose something in our hand, put it in our energy area. So here, a good energy would probably be, let's, uh, why don't we use this slug in our energy area since it's unlikely that we'll play another one. The first thing we want to do is get this slug in rest mode, but we don't want to do that until we have bond two because he needs another battle card there. So Basil is a good battle card to play. You just play him for one energy and draw a card and we draw a really excellent card here. If they have five or more cards in rest mode, we can activate to give this dual attack. But the next thing we're gonna do is swing with Slug to get him in rest mode so that they can't draw cards. They'll deal with that attack, and then we go ahead and swing with our leader, draw a card, and take a card from our life and add it to our hand. Now, we'll probably pass with these two energy up because the two energy up are gonna allow us to play Mecha Frieza Repost and Steadfast Assistance Goku. So on their defensive turn, when they attack, we can pay one energy to negate with Mecha Frieza Repost. When we negate with this attack, for the duration of the turn, when they swing with non-unison cards, they have to choose one of their cards and switch it to rest mode. So if they go ahead and swing after that and say they choose one of their cards and switch it to rest mode, that triggers Poutine, which allows us to play Poutine. When Poutine, Poutine gets played off of them choosing one of their cards and switching it to rest mode, since that is one of our skills that it's resting off of, that gives us a window to play Poutine. Poutine makes it so that whenever they play a battle card, we may choose that card and switch it to rest mode. So when they come in and play their next battle card, if it's played off a of skill, we can choose that card and say, we're gonna choose that card and switch it to rest mode. They may play another battle card, at which point we'll spend another energy to play a steadfast Goku that will rest that next battle card and it gives us a draw. At this point, our opponent probably isn't doing much on their turn, so they're gonna pass to us. We go ahead and untap our energy, draw for our turn. We'll choose a card in our hand and put it in our energy area. We'll go ahead and put this uh, Power of the Super Saiyan in our energy area. Slug is gonna untap and as always, first thing we wanna do is swing with Slug to make sure we get him in rest mode. They'll do something to deal with that attack and then we can go ahead and swing with our leader. Auto, draw a card, choose one card in our life, add it to our hand. Now we're at four life, we can awaken, draw two cards and if we had a uh, if we had a uh, a higher dragon in our hand, we'd be able to combo that to draw another card, which would really increase our hand advantage. Um, if they have something in active mode, say they have a blocker or something like that, you can activate Power of the Super Saiyan for free to draw a card and tap their blocker. And we got another repost in hand, which is going to help us for our next turn. Now, if we went ahead and tapped something, if they have a big body on board that we don't want to deal with, and we tapped it off of Steadfast Goku, or we tapped it off of Mecha Frieza's effect, we can pay two energy to play Turles, choose one of their cards in rest mode and KO it. And if there's another card in rest mode we don't want to deal with, we can KO that one, or we can choose to draw a card. In this instance, we're going to pretend we're just KOing one card and drawing a card. Um, go ahead and swing. This is a 20k double strike, so that's a lot for them to deal with. At this point, they probably have five cards in rest mode, so we can activate Basil to give him 15k and dual attack, which makes him a 19k dual attacker. We get two attacks with Basil, and then we'll probably just leave these two energy up to defend. So they're going to go ahead. Their turn starts. They'll attack somewhere. The first thing we can do is play a repost to negate that attack. Now for the duration of the turn, when they attack, they're going to have to choose one of their cards and switch it to rest mode. Um, say they have a card like Secret Identity or something like that, they're gonna clear some cards. So if they play Secret Identity, they'll play that card and they get to warp a total cost of three from our board, or six from our board. They'd likely wanna get rid of the Turles, so they'd probably choose the Turles and the Basil since those add up to six and send these cards to our warp so they don't have to deal with that 20K double strike anymore. Now they're still not drawing any cards off of card effects, which is very strong. So they're probably gonna wanna invest to kill slug so when they invest to kill slug they would we would tap this goku they've now they've probably tapped something else because they have to tap off of their frieza swing and now maybe they have like a unison swing to swing at slug so we'll protect him with a krillin super combo since slug is very very strong at helping us 
keep our uh, our hand advantage over their hand advantage. Krillin is bottom deck one, draw two. And uh, we'll say we have to throw another five on it just to protect him. At this point, they probably pass their turn. We draw for our turn and untap our energy. Choose a card in our hand to put in our energy area. Maybe since we're imagining we're not playing blue, we'll put another godly destruction Weiss. Uh, now that we're awakened, and I actually forgot to do this last turn, you can use your leader effect to play a one drop uh, skill list from your, from your drop area. And when you do that, you draw a card. Watch you draw the card first and then you play this. So we're gonna go ahead and play that card. And once this card's in play, we can now attack with Slug, make sure we get him in rest mode. And then we'll attack with our leader. When we attack with our leader, we can combo off the one drop, activate battle to draw another card. And there's our other repost. This is gonna go to the drop area. They're gonna have to deal with that. And then we can start swinging with our reposts if we want to attack here, attack here. Um, if they do choose something and switch it to rest mode, that's gonna give us a window for Bergamo, but we're gonna say that that doesn't happen there. We're gonna tap three energy to play our unison. Trunks is a very strong unison. Uh, you can plus minus zero and it switch something for, switch one of their cards to rest mode. If you do switch one of their cards to rest mode, you can then kill it if it's four or less. And if this is our kill turn, if we think we're gonna win and they have two energy open, you can switch something to rest mode, which will trigger Bergamo and play Bergamo for two energy, but we're gonna hold out and go for a couple more turns here just to show some more plays. You get two attacks with trunks for 20K, that's two 20K dual attacks, and then we'll pass turn and it'll be their turn. Uh, the first attack they make, we're gonna negate it with repost again. So for the duration of the uh, turn, if they attack with a non-unison card, they're gonna have to switch a card to rest mode. And then when they play a battle card, we will play Steadfast Goku, which allows us to draw a card and switch the card to rest mode. We'll say that we had to block two more attacks. So we'll say that these two Steadfast Gokus died in the blocking step. Um, if they have another attack on us, we can use Frieza's army reinforcements by paying one life and create a blocker token for the turn. So we'll call this our blocker token. And if they attack again, we can block with the blocker token. That will get KO'd and then they'll probably pass and go to our turn. So we'll draw for turn. And at this point, if they've established a board, now we have an overwhelm option to get rid of some of that board. So we'll choose something in our hand and put it in our energy area. Let's charge this slug. And the first thing that we're gonna do is use our leader effect to play a guy. So we'll activate main, play him from the drop, draw a card. And then we can uh, start attacking. Now we have six energy. Um, we can check how many cards we have in our drop area. That's more than six. And now that our higher dragon is out of the drop, it's a good idea to overwhelm here, play secret identity, kind of clear some of their board, uh, swing with slug, make sure he's in rest mode. Then we can attack with our leader auto, uh, combo, activate battle to draw a card. Um, then we can swing with uh, secret identity. You get two swings with trunks. So swing, swing, we're gonna have three swings here. And we can also play Basil at this point. Now they probably have uh, enough tapped for Basil to play. He's gonna, we can activate main on Basil to give him 15K and dual attack. And then we get to swing twice with him. And then something that's in rest mode, we can pay two for Turles, KO something in rest mode, draw a card, swing with Turles. And at this point, we're probably gonna be going for game here. So we can go ahead and add a final flash here. Uh, power of Super Sand to rest something, gives us a draw. Combo here, another final flash. 5K here, 5K here, super combo here. Bottom deck, draw two. Another super combo, bottom deck your unison since it isn't combo power, draw two. Uh, combo another super combo bottom deck here draw two and then just combo out the rest of your hand and that's going to be the swing now if they had a counter for that swing we could have coolered the counter but that wouldn't have left energy up to super do Vegeta's final flash so let's see how much this would have comboed for this is a 20k double strike and the two final flashes make it uh, an extra 30 so that's 50 60 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 115 double strike. 
it's really unlikely that they'll be able to survive through all these swings. I mean, depending on what kind of deck they're playing, they'll uh, have things to answer what you're doing. You, they, you may have answers for what they're doing. And had we taken some more life, we would have drawn into Pan, at which point we could have negated with Pan, which would have really slowed their turn down. Um, so that's just kind of a rough run through, kind of shows you how powerful this deck is and how many things you can do with it. It's a really, really strong deck. I think it's a great meta pick right now. It's uh, hard to beat. And if you can get your extra cards early and charge them and turn on your engine for Riposte and Steadfast Goku, you really are able to slow their plays significantly. Also a really pretty deck and Slug is really hard to deal with also. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I am a dentist. I can't end the playthrough without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip today is going to be a little bit of a different one. If you are in the tri-state area, if you're in New Jersey, you should come by my office. Come by, say hi. I have an office. I clean teeth. I like to help people take care of their teeth. And I'd love to help you take care of your teeth. I'm in Princeton, New Jersey. Feel free to shoot me a message. I can get you the info to call my office and come in and you can see my Dragon Ball themed office and get some very personalized health care so you can take better care of your teeth. I am Joku DMD, and I'll see you guys next time.